I've decided to sign for one more year on the show and that this will be, this will be my last year hosting The Late Late Show. You've probably heard the news by now that come next spring, James Corden will no longer be the host of The Late Late Show, having decided to hang up his tailored late night suit to focus on other opportunities. What those opportunities are and where he'll pursue them we don't yet know, but it's left Corden's fan base wondering if he'll be leaving the friendly confines of Los Angeles for a return to his birthplace of England. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. But here's the thing about James Corden. Over the past seven years, he and his family have become increasingly comfortable with a glamorous Hollywood lifestyle that centers around his remarkable $10 million home. At the time they purchased the house, Corden and his wife, interior designer Julia Carey, had recently expanded their family with the birth of their first two children and had a third already on the way. That's when they found this residence that was perfect for a growing family. Described in marketing materials as a fabulous two-story New England traditional, this stately structure was originally built in 1997 and is located on a sprawling 20,000 square foot lot situated inside the celebrity pack district of Brentwood Park. Here, fellow big time stars like Gwyneth Paltrow, Harrison Ford, and Steven Spielberg also live. Visiting guests are immediately welcomed into the home by greenery and foliage out front as they walk their way up the paved motor court towards the unit's charming red front door. Stepping inside, you'll discover a double height foyer that not only leads directly into a wood paneled library, but also steps down into a comfortable living room complemented with a very cozy looking fireplace and furnished elegantly with a grand piano alongside white walls and traditional wood floors. As an added bonus, nearby large windows allow for plenty of extra sunlight to pour in, while double doors lead out towards the exterior terrace and sitting area. Over in the chef's kitchen, gleaming hardwood floors and exposed wooden beams on the ceiling lend a dramatic feel to the space, and there's also top of the line appliances as well as a gorgeous breakfast nook. Situated not far from the kitchen is an extra family room which has been decorated in a fashion similar to the living room with a large patterned rug and plush neutral sofas. And next to there is an even more formal dining area with a stunning table setup that seats at least 10 for celebrating with friends. Elsewhere in this 8,609 square foot home are five bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms with a master suite boasting dark brown hardwood floors alongside a sitting area and a fireplace of its very own. Meanwhile, the ensuite is full of white marble tiling, a glass enclosed shower, a built-in soaking tub and private balcony overlooking the property's lush backyard. Downstairs, there's the epic basement that not only boasts its very own media lounge with a large TV, leather couches, and an impressive looking pool table, but a fully stocked gym as well, one that leads outwards into the exterior gardens. Speaking of those exterior spaces heading out to the backyard, you'll discover a half acre lot that's fenced in for total privacy with a brick surrounded pool and spa next to some olive trees and a gazebo. After securing this place for his family in mid 2017, Corden would hold off on moving in for a few months as he paid for a series of major renos. The exact specifics of the remodeling have never been revealed, but it's believed that Corden had a designer office space installed with top of the line computers and an editing suite suite to help out with his busy work schedule. Since then, Corden and his family have lived here for five years, but the question is, will they continue to do so after James recently shocked the entertainment world by announcing his departure from The Late Late Show? Speaking with Deadline after the news of his departure broke, James told them that he genuinely didn't know what was in the cards, stating, It's something we think about and we talk about a lot, but we haven't really made a decision on that yet. That's the life side of things, which we'll figure out. Well, with spring coming up quick, it's something James will have to figure out sooner rather than later. Then again, recent headlines from across the pond might have already given away which way he's leaning. James Corden's current A-list lifestyle stands in contrast to his childhood in 
and youth in England. You need proof of that? Look no further than his childhood home, a modest semi-detached structure located in Hazelmere, Buckinghamshire, where he lived with his parents Margaret and Malcolm, along with two sisters, Andrea and Ruth. While James and his new family unit have since embraced the California lifestyle, that doesn't mean they don't miss the comforts of home. He once explained to the Daily Mail, We're a long way from home, my wife and I and our children, and there are people at home that we miss deeply and we care about, and they're getting older. Should he and his family decide to return to England, one potential family home they could have moved into was this sizable five-story house that James owned in Belsize Park. James purchased this property for himself way back in 2010 for an estimated 3 million pounds. There's not a whole lot of information out there about this residence, but what I do know is this. About a year ago, James and his next door neighbor, um, you might have heard of him, his name is Chris Martin, teamed up to ensure that a third neighbor of theirs wasn't permitted to carry through with plans that he had on creating a massive basement extension. Apparently the celebrity's issue stems from the fact that both James and Chris were renting out their properties in Belsize Park for somewhere around 15,000 pounds a month and they were worried that the noise and disturbance of construction would threaten that sizable amount of income. But despite Corden's objection, city councillor still gave the neighbor the green light to move ahead. So what did Corden do? He wound up selling the place instead. How much he made on this deal hasn't been confirmed, but it's believed he more than doubled his original investment of three million pounds. When asked if the sale of the house meant that Corden and his family have decided once and for all to stay stateside, a close friend of the family would tell the Daily Mail, this house sale doesn't necessarily mean that he has left the UK for good. The family will be looking for a new property in the UK that is more suitable for their three children. In other words, the Corden clan will be looking for a house where they're less likely to be bothered by a few pesky neighbors. And going by the most recent headlines, they'll be house hunting in the UK when they do so. Until then, all we have left to do is enjoy James Corden's final few months as the host of The Late Late Show and hopefully get as many carpool karaoke segments out of him as we possibly can. Not that those will probably be going anywhere. After all, that segment had made Corden into a star and my guess is that he's set to expand it into bigger and better things. For now, however, that's gonna bring this latest edition of House Tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching, and before you leave, take a moment to answer this question. If you suddenly became world famous, would you want to live in the country you were raised in or move to the continent that made you a star? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, as well as what you liked about James's homes. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I will see you all in another video. Bye.